actually doing the uh, removal or the replacement of the head gasket on this one. So I got all the connections from the injectors out and then from the coils I got this out. Uh, this hose goes to the DC valve out there and the other one goes into this side yep. so the longer one goes to the outermost and uh, I need to move this one there's some brackets in here for the hoses so most of the stuff are there the body has like three coolant connection so this one this one and uh, I think this one I don't know if this is the coolant connection. I think it's for the purge bulb. Yeah. Got the throttle body out. So we got the one bolt here and two nuts. And then the connector for the motor. And probably this one is the sensor. So I'm going to take out the bracket here for the cable for the wires. And uh, yeah, I think we need to take out this dipstick tube so that we could get the uh, intake manifold. Got the washer fluid reservoir tank out, the snorkel here out, and uh, trying to figure out how to relocate this uh, brake reservoir because it's uh, it's blocking the uh, bulb cover gasket. I mean the wall cover. So we're gonna probably remove this bracket and this wire here and this one too. Yep. Uh, take this one next over here. Just take a note of that. And there are two brake lines over there. The uh, brake reservoir is loose now. I could move in. I could move this around and uh, I also took the bracket from here and I put the bolt back. Now time to remove this uh, tension. I'm gonna loosen it. And once that's loose, I'm gonna take the belt out. Get the uh, pulley, water pulley out so pump is really in good shape i think it's new got to replace this pump i mean uh take out this pump and uh dismount next the water pump out there are several wires in here that needs to be unplugged before disconnected so there's one white wire here white plug there's another one here that is connected to a bracket. I don't know if I need to disconnect it, but it connects to this harness over here. And then this one too. I think this is like a ground too. Or probably probably a sensor. Yep, there's a 10 mm bolt in here. And then there's also another one here. Hopefully there's two of them. So it's not clear how it looks like, but I'll probably disconnect this one first. Taking note of these wires over here. So I got that uh, two grounds already, and I just put the bolts back in over here and over here. And this is the uh, last one, luckily. Oh, the third one on this side. Two bolts that uh, that one and this one that connects the uh, the exhaust shield to the exhaust manifold. I might probably just do this. Yep. So that I could access the exhaust uh, manifold bolts here. So I jack the the engine. And then I'm actually going to, actually I did the, uh, I took out all the bolts, the mount, and so we just move 
this uh, refrigerant line for the AC. Then you could take this out. You don't need to take this out actually. Just this two, and then this one, uh, this two up. And then there's two down here that you need to access them. And then mounts. Get out more space to take out the uh, the mount for the uh, tensioner. Yep, this whole bracket here needs to come out so that we could take the timing belt, uh, the timing chain cover. The, uh, the tensioner assembly out. Uh, and now we have a clear picture of the, the timing uh, cover. So we're gonna take out all those uh, tenement bolts. And uh, we're gonna start with the bulb cover. Yep, start with the bulb cover. Bolts, that's out. Cover. it off. I think there are some pry points that you could use. All over here. The bulb cover out. Not that bad though. I'll pull it out. It's a very easy uh, um, pulling it out using an impact cover so this one this bolt and this bolt yep it's the holder for the wires I think it's your crankshaft possession sensor looks like this is broken looks like the clip is not working huh. Long one, and that long one belongs here near the water pump, just below the water pump. Yep, I can lose the, the valve cover, I mean, the timing cover. Uh, it's not yet going out. The uh, timing components removed so the chain, the tensioner, the guides. And there's an O-ring there, uh, one of the O-rings is still in the uh, uh, engine block. I'm gonna take out the cam. So this one, this one, and that one, that one. I'll move this uh, injector line out of the way. Forgot that it's there. The other injector is out and it's being put there on the side. Uh, look how dirty it is. Uh, you should have cleaned it before uh, picking it up. Uh, there's actually like a marking. Um, let's see. So the marking on this one, there's a there's an arrow yeah, pointing to the cam. Same thing with that one. That's uh, I4. an arrow there should be exhaust yep. so I got all the uh, uh, what they call that remove the, uh, the one that's holding the uh, cam and then the what they call that I forgot but yep I got it removed so I can take this out now yep I'm using a 9mm uh, hex bolt, not the hex bolt, but the triple square uh, socket. And I'm doing a crash cross pattern on this one starting from the outside. So that's one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. The bolt out is uh, really easy once you get crap them loose. I'll actually move the, uh, the cylinder head now. The only problem I have is these uh, hoses here. So this one, I was able to remove the clamp, but the smaller one, the clamp is oriented like downwards, so I cannot unclip it. So I'm into this ordeal where I have to spend more time trying to take these hoses out. Yep, I could probably remove the inverter, but I think I probably have the same issue. Well, probably have more space to the side, but I don't want to do that. Okay, finally got those two hoses out. You need this to verdict. Yep. Yep. So this one this one this one this one so my head is probably oh that's weird so this is the reason why my uh, combustion I, i'm getting some combustion gases on my coolant it becomes pressurized and overheat let me see if I have some uh, crap in here on the head so I'm probably getting I'll probably uh, mixing oil well on my coolant or, or the other way around. <laughs> Get me a uh, cylinder rules are okay. Oh, let's stop this sounder. There's no indication that the uh, cylinders uh, one and four it's getting steam washed. This is the underside. the head looks like spark plugs looks good yep uh, I think it's the exhaust valves that are like white because of that uh, coolant thing to figure out if it's warped. A new uh, gasket, it's a uh, Philpro. Um, oh, interesting. 
you know, uh, there's only one, uh, there's only one great pin on this one. Wrong way. Okay. Yeah. Kind of sucks that uh, I didn't install the head. I got the new gasket, GoPro, and I put the uh, sealant on the ears here and on the other side too. And I cleaned the heads. There's no warp or anything, no cracks. Um, just a head gasket issue. It's in place. Time for time for these uh, connections to uh, be put in place. Yeah, the hoses out here, the sensors, the connectors, the wires, everything. Yep. Start at the middle 